welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you some more awesome predators, predators. <laughs> we have um what's this one so this is the they're both the berserker predator okay so this is the unmasked berserker predator so he has he doesn't have the helmet on he's got this yeah, unmasked. his regular face whoa that is creepy yeah and then this is the Invisible Berserker Predator, so he's going to have the mask on and everything, but he is um, translucent, clear, okay. in his camouflage form. I was going to say, I didn't see his face sticking out like this one. <laughs> but anyway, we want to say a great big thank you to... Hiya Toys! For sending these to us for free to share with you today. We're going to go ahead and get these out of the box, but wait. We didn't take a look at the back. So here's the back with the amazing artwork. And there you have some different poses that you can do. That's really cool. Shows you the figure. It does tell you that these are exquisite minis. And they are a 1 18th scale. Right, so that's about 4 inches. Okay. Awesome! And then here's the other awesome packaging, the details. Very cool. I don't know if the camera's picking up all the subtleness. I like all this. It goes all the way around. Very cool. All right, so we're going to get these two predators out of their boxes. See if we can contain them. Yes. And give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And both predators are out of their boxes, but you can't see the invisible one. Yeah. He's standing over there. Where's He's the other one? Very invisible. All right, so I guess we should take a look at the um, unmasked okay. one first. Was there a word I'm leaving out? He's no. the unmasked. Unmasked berserker predator. Berserker. That makes me think of a carnival ride, the carnival yeah. ride. <laughs> so let's take a look. Well, first of all, before I show you him, let's take a look at his. He comes with these extra hands, um, like an open one, like a holding. Um, he can, so he can hold that skeleton trophy over there, um, and then he's got a fist, fisted one. So this is his right, and this is his left. Um, and then, so, and then these are, that are on him are open palm. Yes. And then it's the same thing for the other one, except I have, so there's, you have like the, op, the, Is that a solid the gripping fist? hand, yeah. and then I took, I went ahead and took off the other okay. open hand and put the fist on there, so. Gotcha. And then he comes with, um, his, we call it the trophy, um, and this one is like a, Deep burgundy color with the um, black wash detailing all down there. Look at that. There's the pelvic bone. The head bone's connected to the... Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then... Oh, and there's and the clear the version. Clear version. Ta-da! So, and then he has a clear pelvic bone as well. And then um, for the stands, they come with these awesome stands and um, they're all going to look alike so when you attach all the predator stands it's going to feel like it's just one cohesive right, yeah. piece and um, it's got one peg on there so you can peg them on it it also has these notches so you can use these little I call them the HI pieces um, to connect it like that um, from any side that you want so you can make it like really long or more square like or Whatever, so that's always yeah, awesome. Yeah, it is cool the way they do that. All right, let's take a look at this face. Oh, my goodness. So face I'm not even sure a mother could love. I'm not sure a mother could love that. <laughs> um, his eyes, yellow eyes. So help me God, yellow eyes. Anyway, so um, he's giving me Krang vibes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, it's funny. Um, I like his little um, his coloring dots through there. We're saying a little little watermelon-ish, um, but he's definitely got some red details. He's very creepy looking, and you can see the fangs inside of there. Um, he's definitely got um, a lot of black and red dots, but the detailing is amazing. Look at his skin tone coming down here. He's got some more green thrown in, and um, let's look at the back one. Oh, it's like very alligator yeah. colored back here, like the alligator belly. Um, on his back and with the black detailing and then with his um, hair or well I don't know what you call it on him but anyway um, looks kind of like dreads or something um, they're like rubbery 
So maybe it's just like cords or whatever. Um, and it's got the detailing connecting all the... And the color, it goes like from black all the way to that reddish color um, like the trophy was. And then he's got the... Uh, what do you call this thing on his shoulder? The shoulder cannon. Yeah. <clears throat> and it moves as well. Um, and then, let's see. He's got his awesome... Um, I'm just going to call it a uniform. If I call it Predator in a skirt, yeah. <laughs> I can be in trouble. Um, so, and then he has this um, piece that wraps around him. It is rubbery, but it doesn't look like it's meant to come off. It is attached. Hmm. It appears to be attached to this whole shoulder piece, so that's cool. Let's take a look at his hands. Really got some yellow detailing in there. And then, um, I don't know what you call this piece exactly. Yeah, it's like a like a wrist. I don't know if it's like a wrist blade. I can't remember. Like an arm blade, wrist blade. He always has it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you if you take off his hand, this piece is loose enough that if you for some reason didn't want him to have it or <clears throat> wanted to put it on this hand, I believe that would work as well. Um, here's some of the detailing. Uh, he's getting very wizard like down here. Um, Repti reptilian. And here's the boots. Hopefully. Um, it's almost like a copper and brown, yeah. brownish mix to it. Oh, he's got the detailing on the side of his leg there, too. Um, but, and then he's got these little, like, calf protectors. Never seen anything like that one before. But, anyway, alright, take it away, John. Okay. <clears throat> so these are always interesting to, to take a look at, just because they are so articulated for the size. So, let's see. First of all, you had the, the neck, and it will go back and forth. Um, he can look down to a certain extent, um, look up some, and of course it kind of will kind of pivot a little back and forth. He has the shoulder articulation, so it will pivot and bend. <clears throat> so will the um, elbows. Uh, and if I can get this out of the way you can see the wrists twist oh, yeah. so then they have like the mid mid torso uh, I'm not sure what you want to call it um, the, uh, the waist joint um, get the hips and they kind of twist as well so they can oh, yeah. get different uh, you know you can uh, like Make them bow legged, or um, <laughs> they actually have better. like a double knee joint, uh, which is good. And then, of course, like the mid calf with the boot, they don't have because you have like a ankle, but you can rotate the foot um, at that mid calf oh, joint to be cool. able to, um, you know, make them steadier. So very cool. And the of course the other one will have um, an identical right points of articulation. So, and like you said, like even the the shoulder cannon can pivot around. So, very cool. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to give you a closer look at the invisible one. You can see him now. Yeah. Because he does um, have, uh, as you said, the mask on. So, he's going to look a little bit different. He's not got the And it looks like face. he's got like, um, I, think I, I think we've seen this one. Maybe in another video, I'd have to go back and check. Ooh, what did I knock off of it? Um, oh. But I think this one actually has like a, like you can kind of see, he's got like a underbite. There's like a, like, yeah, his, yeah. like his mask That's actually okay. has like a jawbone attached to it. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, I think so too. So that kind of makes it a little different from others. That's cool. Yeah, his, uh, the shoulder cannon will come off and pop back on. Let's see. There you go. So you can position it how you want it. Um, I'm just going to show you, let you see all of the pieces. All of the detailing is the same. It's just now um, translucent. And you can see, oh, sorry, I knocked off his cannon again, uh, moving him all around. But uh, yeah, he looks really awesome. Yeah, it's cool how they use cool to like, basically stand like side the by same. Side. Same molds mm -hmm. as the other, so like you get the same level of detail. It's not like you, you lose any detail, right? 
um, in the uh, the clear ones, but it gives it that really cool look with all you know with the the clear plastic, yes. you know, oh, the translucent. Yeah. I really like that. Now, of course, these two are going to have two different head sculpts. <clears throat> right here is here also as um, came with a, an exquisite mini from Predator Two poster, so you can or checklist. So you can see some of the ones from Predator 2. Yeah, they have a really a, a quite extensive um, figure line for for Predators. Like if you looked on these boxes, these both said Predators, plural. Right. Which is uh, like the third movie. So they have ones that are from Predator, Predator 2, Predators, uh -huh. and Aliens vs. Predator. Awesome. So there's quite an extensive line. So we want to say another great big thank you to Hiya Toys for sending these to us for free to share with you today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.